a lot of investors, especially those on Robinhood and elsewhere, a reality check. Hey, this market doesn't move straight up. What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be talking about why the overall stock market is going to the downside. We're gonna go over exactly the top stocks that we need to pay attention to as the market sells off to the downside. I'm also gonna go over exactly what ARK Invest is going to be anticipating for the future for Tesla stock. We have one of their analysts explaining to us exactly what they're anticipating for the next few years to come after the Tesla battery day announcement yesterday we also going to go talk about exactly what happened in the stock market today and what are the major important economic reports that we need to pay attention to that is going to significantly affect the stock market for tomorrow guys we have a lot of reports coming out that are going to affect it for tomorrow guys so make sure you stay to the end of the video now let's get right into it all right guys so before we get into the video guys please make sure you smash the like button that's going to really help the channel out if you have any questions any comments Make sure you drop it in the comment section. But yesterday we talked about, you know, the UK as they're going to start a lockdown. So they changed the hours for the restaurants. That was the main thing that they did and for their bars. But schools and other colleges are still going to be open. So that is the main thing that they're doing right now. But the case numbers are slightly rising higher and higher. And that's why they're taking this measure. So we'll be able to see if that's going to be the similar thing happening within the US, specifically when we get closer to winter and the flu season is right around the corner so we're going to see exactly what that can affect the overall number of cases across the united states and that can definitely affect the stock market significantly but as you can see already the overall stock market just continued to sell off it was right the overall stock market continued to sell off to the downside we only had a few companies that were showing relative strength that is one of the companies being nike that reported earnings and they have their own catalyst to make them spike up 8.76% while the overall market was going to the downside. So the main reason why Nike was up today was they beat their revenue. Their guidance was really great and they had a really phenomenal online sales numbers. And that is why the stock is trending to the upside while the overall stock market was going to the downside. So we also had Twitter stock up and we have a few other companies that are showing relative strength while the overall stock market is going to the downside. So yesterday we talked about the major companies that I covered in my previous videos like Lankidian Holdings, Workhorse, Hylion, but the overall stock market is selling off to the downside and prices are approaching to the support area. So that is a great time if you're somebody that is going to buy into these companies. However, if you have your stop loss set on those prices, the support prices, unfortunately, they might be taken out pretty soon. So definitely figure out exactly how to rearrange your stop loss prices, your stop loss orders, if you have set them close to the support areas, guys, because this stock market crash is not going to last forever. This stock market dip, pullback is not really going to last for a while september is definitely going to be the time that we see a lot of volatility we're expecting it since we're also getting closer to the election dates so this is expected to happen so really it's not a surprise but we also have companies that we watch that have the individual catalyst that's going to spike them pretty soon so if you have your stop loss orders over there if you want to take your loss and cut your loss and buy again, you can definitely do that too. But really, really be mindful where you have your stop loss orders because the stock market is really, really pulling back. And that is going to be one of the things that you need to pay attention to and do the math on. So now let's talk about, you know, Tesla stock. You know, battery day was yesterday. The stock sold off significantly to the downside. We talked about, you know, ARK Invest. They're anticipating that, you know, Tesla is going to be reducing 40% cost of their battery cost systems. That is exactly what, what, what they're projecting to do Tesla in the future in the next coming years. So that is a phenomenon for them. And we're going to be hearing from one of the analysts, as I mentioned, but their goal is going to be to reduce the cost so they can be able to produce more cheaper vehicles and be able to potentially be able to manufacture 25 million vehicles. You know, so that is a lot. That is a lot of cars in order for them to achieve that they need to lower the cost of their batteries significantly and that is what they're planning to do. Now let's hear from one of the analysts from ARK Invest talking about what they thought about the Tesla battery day and what their expectation is for the next coming years. Guys, let's check out that video. Kini is analyst with global asset manager ARK Invest and joins us now. Tasha, I mean, really, I think investors are already charged up this year with the stocks up almost 400%, so we'll skip that part. What was most revealing about 
what you heard yesterday from uh, Elon Musk and crew? Well, I, I think that the key takeaway here is, you know, you, you mentioned the $25,000 car. Um, Tesla is reducing battery costs by 50%, increasing range by over 50%, and reducing investment. So the cost to build factories by 70%. I mean, if you're a traditional automaker, you must be so scared right now. Um, I mean, you're, you're trying to save your core business in the pandemic. Um, and on top of that, you're trying to build an electric autonomous vehicle. And really, none of them has have successfully done that, um, especially on the EV front. Um, also, if, if, you, if you are building an electric vehicle, a lot of automakers are actually using a different form factor of battery than Tesla. So they, they couldn't even try to copy Tesla if they wanted to. They'd actually just have to uh, start with a whole new battery platform. Um, but on top of that, I think it's just going to take you know, at, at this point, with Tesla's patents that they have on these new this new uh, cell structure and architecture, I think that uh, it could be sort of a lifetime advantage that they have over the auto industry. I mean, I think it'll be massively difficult to catch them. I mean, this is, these numbers are a uh, huge: fifty percent reduction in cost per kilowatt hour, fifty percent increase in range, as you said, and nearly seventy percent reduction in investment per gigawatt hour. I want to pick you up on what you just said there, because in the past we've discussed this. You've said, look, Tesla's battery technology is, what, four years ahead of the competitors. Are you now saying if, and I'm putting a big emphasis on if, they can achieve this, then that lead would be insurmountable? I, I think that's exactly what this means. And, and, and the cheaper car, um, you know, all, is also another point in that bucket, right? Because now if you want to match Tesla on price and performance, how are you going to do that? They're just, their cars are getting even cheaper. They're breaking into other customer segments. Um, so really, I think their, their market share um, it, it sh should be a, a lot greater coming out of this announcement. Their, their future market share should be greater coming out of this announcement, too. Um, because of that cheaper model. Uh, and I mean, traditional autos are really just wasting their time on things like fuel cells, which we know is a much less efficient technology, doesn't make sense from an infrastructure perspective. Um, so they really even hadn't, haven't even gotten their ducks in a row yet on batteries. And now Tesla's just running away from them. It's quite fascinating, isn't it, if we're talking about a $25,000 entry point. And actually, they were saying a fully autonomous Tesla, but we'll skip that bit because I know you get very excited about their advances in uh, <laughs> autonomous technology and their d data collection too. Because you know, if you look on the lifetime basis of an electric vehicle, it works out cheaper, but it's the entry point, the relative height or the greater cost that's um, difficulty for many people here. If you can bring those kind of costs down, then... You know, there's a double whammy here, too, but this is all about the future. And I think that's what investors are, are focusing on today. It's it looks great, but can they achieve it, Tasha? Why should we believe that they can? Well, I think Tesla sort of already achieved the impossible. Oh. And, and we know that they're um, the leader in batteries. Um, and if you think if you think of where are battery breakthroughs happening, um, if they're happening in the lab in these research centers that are outside the company, where's the first place you want to market your new invention? It's going to be Tesla. Um, so I think that on, you know, on top of their their own internal work, they're likely seeing the most cutting edge research coming at them from every other place in the world. I mean, Elon Musk has said, if you can build a better battery, show it to us. Um, so so I, I think that it's it's sort of an easy case to make that if anyone can do this, it's Tesla. I love that um, idea. And they're yes. a magnet, yes. so. a magnet for all those that have some kind of groundbreaking potential technology. They go to it, Elon Musk and Tesla first. Tell me why you're excited about the autonomous opportunities again here, because I know it comes down to the data that they're already collecting and again, an advantage that you think they have. Yes, well, one incremental update that we heard last night. Well, first of all, it's, it's notable that th this is battery day. And Elon Musk mentioned autonomous technology a number of times. I mean, this is clearly so important to them, and they know that. Um, and, and it makes sense to us because we see this as the next largest opportunity in the auto industry. It's going to completely change the way you look at an auto company if they pull off autonomous technology. They're basically going to have software as a service like margins. But last night we heard, um, so Tesla has been working on this update to autopilot for some time that basically combines two of the steps that you need in the process uh, um, to, to make a, an autonomous car successfully drive. In doing so, they get an order of magnitude improvement um, in the, the efficiency and sort of the, the, the processing that you can do in, in an autopilot. So, 
So that seems to say that, you know, this this autonomous lead that they have other over other automakers is again going to be accelerated um, by this new thing that they're building, which is this rewrite of their neural net. Um, so Musk said that that would come out um, in full production in the next month. Uh, so that's another really exciting development uh, that I think is likely going to be overlooked. Uh -huh. Tasha, I'm going to get shouted out for asking this because we have about five seconds, but I know it's a long term price target. Post stock split, what number should we be focusing on for Mark Invest? So we're working on updated research. Look out for that. But our published price target right now, um, if you account for the stock split, split would be about $1,400 per share. $1,400. Yes, and so that's really taking into account the electric and the autonomous opportunity. It's it, You have to value this company like a technology company that it is. Yeah, I know. This is not a car maker in your view. Okay, Tasha Keeney, just a car maker. Tasha Keeney, analyst with ARK Invest. Great to have you with us as always. As you saw from the video, guys, so they're still positive. They're still hopeful. They believe Tesla stock is way ahead of the competition, and they're still super bullish on Tesla stock, and that basically confirmed after the battery day, they're still, still going to be highly bullish on this company now let's talk about exactly what are the major economic reports that we need to pay attention to for thursday september 21st so we got at 8 30 a.m we got the initial jobless claims for regular state program sa it's going to be for september 19 the previous was 860,000. the medium forecast is going to be 850,000. at 8 30 a.m we got the initial jobless claims this is the federal and state nsa that's going to be for the period of september the previous was 1.45 million also at 8 30 a.m we got the continuous jobless claims regular state SA. it's going to be for september 12. the previous was 12.63 million also 8 30 a.m we got the continuous jobless claims for federal and state nsa it's going to be for september 5. the previous was 29.77 also at 8 50 a.m we got the dallas fed president rob is going to be speaking 10 a.m we got the new home sales saar it's going to be for the previous it's going to be for 901 and the forecast is 900,000. This is gonna be for the period of August. We have a continuation, you know, testifying a federal chair, Jerome Powell at 10 a.m. Also at noon, we got St. Louis Fed President James is gonna be speaking. 1 p.m., Richmond Fed President Tom is gonna be speaking. 1 p.m., also we got the Chicago Fed President Charles is gonna be speaking. 2 p.m., we got Richard Fed President Tom is also gonna be speaking. At 2 p.m., we got Atlanta President Raphael speak. So we have a lot of Fed presidents testifying speaking that is going to be significantly that can affect the stock market we also have all these important jobless claims numbers that can significantly affect the stock market guys so definitely be aware of that we'll see if we're going to have a continuation or bounce for tomorrow make sure you have a solid plan before you open any kind of positions if you want to be shorting and getting involved in these companies rearranging some of your positions make sure you have a solid plan but that's going to be for the video guys if you have any questions any comments make sure you drop in the comment section below there's going to be links available for Rebull, patreon discord chat in the description box below check them out let's get it for tomorrow have a wonderful day